a science fair, that's why we're here. A lot of kids in my class are like, oh, I'm going to do science fair next year. It was really cool to have people go, oh, wow, what you're doing really is interesting. You're not just yeah. crazy. It's about growing as an individual. You'll get interested in it because it has a personal connection to you. It's really what you have a passion for. Science fair, people may think that it's boring, but it can actually be really interesting if you're very excited about your subject matter. I just really enjoy science, and this is something that actually affected my life. What I like the most about it is just the fervor, the interest in science that seems to come with the science fair. And let it go. It, it simulates an earthquake. I'd recommend science fair. Your, your main goal is the science fair. You have to have fun. And that's, you know, this is a project that I really, really enjoyed. Some of our best students are the ones that we found at the science fair. It got me to go into science and getting my PhD. What better place to show our support for science and math? An exciting um, time for the kids and it's exciting for us as professionals to see what they're, they're thinking about and working on. I did a project on looking at migraines. It wasn't that difficult. All I needed was a little blood. Um, <laughs> all of our friends think we're crazy because we spend all of our free time in the lab. We're definitely known as the Diet Home Girls. <laughs> science fair, you know, people think it's for nerds or things like that, but it's really not. It's really an opportunity to discover something for yourself and to really do something you enjoy and be proud of it and make something like this that can go this far and you can be like, yes. Well, they call me a nerd, a geek sometimes, but I don't think that's the correct word for it. Um, actually, um, I'm an inspiration to them. I'm more of a role model. The power of your intellect. Science Fair in general has been a great experience for me. They delve into things, they look at it with a different little fresh angle that um, a, you know, a professional in the field isn't going to necessarily do, and, and that's always good to get a, a different perspective on things. According to the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, 2100 will be the first year for seasonal ice to occur. So I decided to make a projection myself. This is certainly out of the box thinking. It always amazes me that each year they're a little more advanced than the previous year. This is going to be the next generation of energy industry employees. And I found that there was a process called catalytic hydrocracking. I was really doing the science for the sake of doing the science. To see the, the caliber of these projects and the level of science that is being done by high school students and junior high students is just phenomenal. I'm trying to identify a biomarker for the physiological aging process in potato seed tubers. I think uh, that some of the kids here today uh, could probably show our engineers how to do things. And so I created an air pressure gun, which you see here. Are you excited? Yeah! Are you excited? Yeah! Science Fair was just a great experience, great meeting adults, learning how to talk to adults, learning how to write, learning how to present in front of people, um, and then meeting kids from all over the country. Getting used to that helps down the road when you're doing college interviews or job interviews. Well really what this project has done is made me more comfortable talking to people about what I enjoy, and it's actually found my career path. It involves every academic skill, so there's no one better thing that a student can do. Knowing that you can complete something um, is a real accomplishment for me. It's that process and if you develop that uh, it does not matter if you win or not. No, I didn't think I'd win anything but I did so. <laughs> so it's not a matter of winning, it's, the, it's everything associated with competing in the science fair. This is mm -hmm. more than a lab. This is more than, than what they're going to get out of a one hour session. You built your own voting machine? Yes, sir. If they're very advanced or if they're in special, special education, they have something special to bring. Remember, you're all winners just for making it. You know, it takes a dad or a mom. I got here through my dad's um, passion in science fair when he was growing up. Because dads, you know, they can't really stay away from stuff like this. My parents and my teachers have been very supportive. It's a huge commitment, but it's, uh, it's incredibly fun and rewarding at the same time. Participation and the involvement in this is, is something that is going to benefit Devin for the rest of his life. Well, behind me are the uh, Grand Award judges. So there's always a job for anyone who wants to volunteer. Well, the judging wasn't too bad. The wait for the results is the worst part. Once you get a really good conversation going with the judge, it, it really goes well. 
These are all volunteers. And then I took off my volunteer hat and put on my parent hat. <laughs> and now I've got my teacher hat on. High school science teachers are the ultimate mentors for these young students. One of the best types of community service you can do is finding a young person who has that interest in mentoring them. Finding an idea that you have a passion in and then having a teacher or a parent or both supporting that. So if you can pass that knowledge on, you've really made a huge difference in somebody else's life. All six of my junior students here tonight placed in their categories, which makes me very pleased. The reason that most of these students are here is because of their science teachers. If it wasn't for him, I don't think I would have ever became a scientist and an engineer. Who are identified as having significant performance potential in science and mathematics. The, the board of directors are responsible to make sure that, that, that we have a fair each and every year. Fundraising is incredibly challenging. Really, our job in a nutshell is to ensure that the fair thrives. We can always use you know more volunteers, more volunteers as judges, upgrading that kind of stuff and certainly more sponsors. So it's great if they can come and either give scholarships or awards to students or contribute money to the science fair itself. The return is really a solid return for what, what it really actually costs. It is uh, one of the best ways that they can invest their time and money and support is to go to the science fair. The benefits and what they get and what they learn is unbelievable. Get involved and take the time. And tonight I feel very confident that we are accomplishing our mission. Every single one of you is an absolute winner for just being here and have gone through what you did yesterday. Yes, for Science Fair, it's a great program. I mean, all the really, really neat kids getting to see some really cool science projects. If you do good science, you can compete anywhere in the world. I think I end up coming out of this with a lot more than maybe I'm giving them. And science is all about satisfying your curiosity. Find the true magic in them so that they too can someday grow up and be a scientist. It makes me feel really good that if I set my mind to something I can do really well at it. So maybe it'll be science. For us to be successful as a nation in science and engineering is to have experts. To my volunteers, judges, sponsors, thank you so much. Without you guys, we couldn't even be here really.